Mr. Bloom, two minutes, please. Well, uh, an FTT tax uh, sounds like a really good idea, doesn't it? It plays well politically. And we can hit those greedy bankers who we all hate in public while we shovel money into their pockets in private. But I don't think it's going to quite work out that way. All taxes are passed on to customers at the end of the day. Sorry, everybody, that's just how it works. So again, it'll be the little people that pick up the tab. It'll be savers, it'll be pensioners, and ordinary folk that pick up this tax, not the greedy fat cat bankers that you're trying to get at. And it's interesting, is it not also, if you look in the small print, they're saying some of the money raised can actually go towards perhaps sailing, saving future failed banks. So we know, we concede, do we not, that more banks are going to fail. Oh, we know this because we have the same ridiculous fractional reserve banking system, the same crooked money printing, criminal behaviour at the central banks, and so on and so forth. So nothing's changed. Another strong signal to bankers and politicians to continue the theft. But beware those who think taxing London is a risk-free game. And we mean London, don't we? Other EU countries, when it comes to financial services, are Mickey Mouse. Financial services are 14% of UK GDP. The UK contributes £50 million a day to this crumbling institution. Don't kill the goose that lays your golden eggs. Zurich, Geneva, New York and Hong Kong are licking their lips, wondering what piece of glorious stupidity we will come up with next. And an FTT is a special tax. What next? A special tax on sunshine holidays in Spain? High fashion in Paris? Luxury cars in Germany? mobile phones in Finland, and a special, perhaps justifiable, tax on dreadful flat pack furniture from Sweden. It's coming up your street next. The greedy bureaucrats just want your money. Yes, thank you very much. I was just wondering, uh, when it comes to this uh, financial transaction tax, should we restrict this? We have the whole financial system that's led to the crisis, and if we were to introduce the FTT, would it not help us out? Uh, no, the problem we have is fractional reserve banking, which means banks lend money that they don't have, central banks and politicians who print money which degrade currency. That is your problem. It isn't regulation, it isn't taxation. It's because criminal, frankly criminal behaviour at the world's central banks, and until that stops, nothing's going to change. There are a lot more bank failures coming down the road, believe me. Bene, grazie. Passiamo.